So we have been doing a lot of the Sega Saturn Any% runs on stream, and uh, it's been a long time since I've watched it all the way through, but I figured we can go ahead and take a look at how the tool-assisted speedrun handles this category and see some of the major differences. Um, I did just post that new video over on the main channel uh, discussing the Sega Saturn 90%. If you haven't watched it already, youtube.com slash DragonBlitz, go watch it. It's a good video. Good good way to, uh, to understand a little bit about what's going on. And it's so loud. But this is essentially the same category that we've been doing. Uh, and it does the same thing. This is a tool assisted speedrun, meaning that it's essentially a replay of a bunch of inputs uh, that were pre-recorded being played back with the goal to essentially showcase what a perfect playthrough of this category would look like. So because of that, I'm interested in possibly looking into stealing some strats here. Maria's gonna look a little bit different <laughs> because I can't do frame perfect dashes. This is what Tass Maria looks like. It's fine, I'm not looking to steal Tass Maria strats. <laughs> Streamer, why don't you simply do that? You're right, my bad. Interesting that they do a little bonk there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no way this is optimal, right? <laughs> That's the best you could come up with? Hee 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 hee. Anyways. She over here fucking wave dashing on, on these assholes. All right, cool, whatever. As you can see here, this is the save transfer glitch. Basically the same as uh, how I do it in my run. You try and load the save that you just made as Maria. You make a new one as Alucard. Transfers over all of the stats and abilities. Now loading. <laughs> the menu might be a little bit faster than what I'm able to do, but you know, I'm trying my best out here. This is where I'm interested in trying to steal some strats. Grounded gravity jump, wing smash, untransform into gravity jump. Is technically faster there? Wait, why am... That's so obvious. Why am I not doing that? Why am I not doing that? Okay, that's the, this is the, the strat that I basically was thinking about also doing. Which is double gravity jump, front slide into front slide. Okay, so I'm going to go back to doing that strat. Okay. We can't do this strat, unfortunately. As much as I would like to, that out of bounds clip, I do know how to do it. It's very easy to do. But the only reason we don't do it is because this candle right here has the holy water. So, and we need the holy water to kill Hippogriff quickly. Uh, this task, however, doesn't care about the holy water, as you'll see in a little bit. Don't worry that the the task is doing like the echo of bat stuff. That That's not actually faster for us. I'm transforming here. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think we could steal all of those strats, but I think the Alchemy Lab strats I can probably steal. Now this is why We definitely can't steal that. I'm not going to be dive kicking Hippogriff in the speed run. <laughs> Hold up. Is that faster than the double damage boost? Because as it stands, 
it might cost too much magic in the long run because we are restricted by how much magic we have. The, the task does do the MP refill glitch off of Hippogriff, which we can't guarantee. But I wonder if that is faster. Hmm. It might be tough to make it faster with human execution. There, they just find the correct pixel. They don't need to set up, obviously. It's a task. Okay. Interesting. I I'm learning a lot. Because a lot of the dive kick stuff is just not humanly viable because they're doing frame perfect, um, like, lowest possible dive kick front slides, which a, a human would not be able to reliably do. So you kind of have to ignore a lot of the dive kicking strats. Like, that. you can't make that faster as a human, I don't think. But... There's the RNG set up to get the Masamune. Tribute. You Yo. Them souls and make them your slaves. Quintin Lindsay. Was I close? Regardless, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. But yeah. We can't really do that. A human can't, but what about a speedrunner? True. Oh, yeah, they go for this out of bounds, which is like. Not super viable for a human to do. But it's cool. Yeah, that out of bounds is definitely task only. There's another. We can't do that out of bounds as well because we might be farming uh, Masamune's at that point. So. I'm sorry, what just happened here? Why did he not get hit? Sh streamer, why does Alucard not... I just never noticed that. Why is Alucard able to go through the Minotaur without taking any damage? He's not invincible. To my understanding. What's going on? Slash is the enemy. Slashes them ag again, I believe. But just goes right through. And the enemy's still alive. Like, the Minotaur turns back around. So they should have a hitbox this whole time, but... Maybe the Masamune does something similar to the Yasasuna in um, the PlayStation version. Because in the PlayStation version, if you use the Yasasuna Katana, it, like, displaces your hitbox uh, to where you could walk through enemies while using it. So I wonder if the Masamune does something similar in this version. I timed doing this, by the way, uh, instead of dive kicking with a transformation, and it's about the same um, speed for a human, uh, but it's much easier to do the transformation strat, so. Hmm, very interesting. Maybe it's because they picked up the gun, maybe. This out of bounds is also just like not, I've tried to make that out of bounds work, and I've been not been able to get it once, so in all my testing, I couldn't make it work. I don't think the grabbing the sub weapon gives you iframes, but I, I could be wrong. That is an interesting strat that you're able to just move through that guy. Also interesting to me. Oh, I was going to say, it's interesting that they do the, the bonk strat here, because you would think they would want to transform to do the out of bounds, but they don't do the out of bounds. They do a reverse shift line. Or sorry, a shift line, not a reverse shift line. That shift line is so stupid. It probably saves like, probably like six seconds, but it's not, definitely, not, that's definitely not humanly viable. Doesn't transform or anything, really. And then also goes for the right side. Is there a reason for that? Hold on. Let me try and put my brain into this. Is there a reason? They go up the right side and bonk too. And then they're just dive kicking around. Hmm. Why well, turn into wolf at the elevator? It starts the elevator animation faster. So as soon as you transform into the wolf, the next frame the elevator starts. 
like Alucard's still in the transformation animation, but the elevator's already starting. Whereas uh, in this scenario, the task would have to wait for Alucard to bonk their head uh, if they didn't transform into wolf. Is it because Alucard's already facing left? So they could just backdash? Oh, it's because they're, yeah, and they're closer to the right side. Interesting. They're doing it just because they're closer to the right side, I guess. Interesting. Now this task fight is definitely interesting to say the least. Not a very consistent setup. So what are the two major takeaways? The alchemy lab, gravity jump at the start, and maybe the wing smash after Hippogriff. Those are like the two things I definitely want to test. Yeah, the lightning gun is used in this task for a little bit of bonus damage. A lot of crits, too. You could probably, R, like, RNG better crits somehow, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. But that's the run. Uh, the total time is 7 minutes and 45 seconds. However, task timing starts from Buddha, which is an extra... Fifty three seconds, so minus fifty three. So it's actually sub seven as far as the actual. If we were to convert task timing to the timing that we use, but I'm also pretty sure that the version of Bizhawk they used was older with faster load times. So it's hard to to say. Um, does this mean that sub eight is possible for humans? Probably, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see. I, I did learn a lot. I think the main takeaways that I'm going to try is going to be the beginning of the alchemy lab. This wing smash untransformed gravity jump strat, I think I might try and steal. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to doing this. Strat. And then what was the other one? It was right here after Hippogriff. They do a grounded diagonal gravity jump, immediate cancel wing smash, and then untransform before killing these bats. All right, let's mess around with that right now. That sounds fun. But yeah, it, it is very interesting to see the difference between like human gameplay and perfect gameplay for sure. Cause humans obviously can't be doing perfect dive kicks all the time and stuff like that. The boss fight is a huge uh, example of the difference. Like no human would be able to do consistent dive kick uh, like that without taking damage, so. Still, still ways to, to learn and improve, but also knowing like what's humanly viable, what's not. Knowing the difference between the two. It's fun. Good times. Good times. We learned a lot today.